Hey guys, it is me Simone. In this video, we're going to test out these oval makeup brushes and use them to see if they blend well. So, I thought of this idea a while back, but I didn't get these. At the time, these were very popular in the makeup community, and so when I went to get them, they were kind of pricey, and I wasn't really pay that amount of money. Now, that trend has died. It's died for a long time, and I forgot, I forgot about them. I recently saw a girl's video. She was talking about these, but she called them blending brushes, and she sells a version of them herself. It's like a smaller, uh, crafty, it's like a two sister channel. And I just went and got the makeup brushes because they were cheaper. But she has them, and there's a brand, oh, is it Picket Fence? I'll put it in there if I said it wrong. They sell brushes just like this. They are called life changing blending brushes. They're basically oval makeup brushes. And they charge about $50. I'll put the price in there if I'm wrong. I think it's like $40, $50 plus shipping. So it's about, I think it's about $55 for them. Which is ridiculous because they're just makeup brushes that are just called something else. And so I really had to make this video because a lot of people are buying them and I'm like, please stop. Like they're sold out like, everywhere. Please stop because you're spending way too much money and you're going to get the same product if you just buy makeup brushes. That's one reason why I'm very nosy about like how things are made. I'm a little bit skeptical in some senses because it saves you so much money. I mean, granted, I don't have $50 to just splurge. I most likely would not have gotten them, but now I have my own version. So I got these from eBay. I'm going to leave a link below um, for you guys to eBay and Amazon. So if you have like prime shipping you can do the amazon one and if you don't have prime shipping um you can do a free trial or you can just get the one from ebay and oh my gosh let me talk about pricing so it's a 10 piece you get 10 of these i got these they're supposed to come in blue but they seem to be pink for some reason but whatever i got these for 6.99 that's how much these cost. They're very soft brushes. They're from the US. I got a US seller that got for eBay. They're very soft brushes. Like, oh my gosh. When I get them out, I'm like, oh, these are so soft. <laughs> and they come in several different sizes. So you have the biggest size here. And you kind of just go along. I'm just going to show you all of them real quick. But I was just kind of shocked. I know companies, sorry, I know companies like buy something for cheap and then like hike up the price is how you make a profit i'm not mad i just i'm not paying that price point i think that's ridiculous you know how tiny this one is i just think it's ridiculous like gosh lee like six nine so basically what they i'm pretty sure what they do is they just, they just buy makeup brushes and then hike up the price that's a that's a huge profit right there guys i'm telling you if they bought these, because they have the ones they sell are black handled, which I kind of wanted, but I couldn't find them for a reasonable price. All the wacky colors like purple, blue, and pink were like super cheap. Or six dollars. And the ones that were black handled were like ten or eleven dollars. So I didn't feel like it. But you can get this set, ten pieces, for anywhere between six ninety nine to about twelve dollars, which still is a better deal than getting um any other brushes because that's just ridiculous I, I can't I can't imagine and I was watching people who bought them and they were like you know loving them but I'm like dude you just spent like way too much money which is not even necessary but we're gonna talk we're gonna play with these because I want to show you how well they blend so I have different cards the tags I've cut out this is some um, Georgia Pacific paper so I'm gonna blend them with some distress oxide and I'm gonna blend with some just as ink or just regular ink and then I'm going to show you guys how well these babies blend let me choose a dark color I still have some distress oxides on my desk from me doing those mixed media tags I didn't put them up so yeah I'm going to use this mermaid lagoon color just showing you guys let me zoom in a little bit sorry about the noise you're going to hear this is a bit. sorry about the noise alright We'll use this big one. So, 
I was watching her talk about them, and they're really, I really are more comfortable to hold. It's, it's like more, what's the word, uh, instinctive, but I mean, gosh, you could just hold up on here. I put a lot on there. <laughs> ah, cause it's like the first time you're playing with them, so I, I load it up on here. But you can keep loading and just. Let me see if I can. I loaded pretty hard right here. There we go. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm, I'm like literally putting a lot on here. I'm not pushing hard, but I'm. It's picking up a lot of ink, so I'm going to do a lighter kind of. But this is. Just trust oxides. They blend way better. So. I'm going to do that way. Okay. You guys see the difference, though. Let me clean that desk off real quick. Did you see the difference? I could do a really thicker application. I actually make my own paper, basically, my own paper color. Or I can do a very thin application. I mean, let's see. I have a different tag. I'm just gonna pull it here. This is actually oh tie dye. God, I mean, you can do a very thin. If it's barely anything on here, I'm just gonna pick this up off my glass mat, which. I recommend you guys make or buy one because they really are. I like them. Especially for the price point I paid for mine. <laughs> okay. So you do a very light. You can do like clouds and stuff. Or you can do a heavy. Like, I was pretty heavy on this one and it's really nice. Very easy to blend. So that's it's just oxides. What we all know. Most of us know, you know. A lot of us know that those are pretty easy to blend if you don't know. So, moving on. I recommend like if you have basically like what Tim Holtz says that you should kind of have brushes for different things so you really want, don't want to use your brushes that go in distress oxide unless you clean them really well and use them in distress ink you don't want to contaminate them so I recommend if you do buy these brushes get one set see if you like it do what I'm going to do get another set and then you have two different sets for your stuff. So I'm going to use my card, this card check again. I don't know what color I want to use. The size I want to use. I use the size. We're going to use Blueprint Sketch. And just kind of go off the page. I think this, is, I think this one's a little bit wet. I did, no, I didn't. No, this, that one's wet. <laughs> My bad. Hey, the, oh, I know it's wet table's wet this one because it's doing something a little bit weird that's because it's wet that's why I'm having a little bit of trouble doing this because it's wet but you can see I can do a pretty heavy coat and it does blend in pretty well I like that actually that color is so pretty okay so I'm gonna flip it over and go off the page and then go on the page off and I want to get a lighter coat of this so my table's also still a little bit wet for me cleaning it so I'm getting some weird strikes but see that guys oh, I look so different on camera <laughs> there we go I think it's showing a little still more blue like blueprint sketches it has a, a nice purple tinge but you know cameras we don't pick that up so you can see the lightness up here and then you can see the darkness there and it's it's pretty light I guess I told you my thing was wet so it was doing something weird but I still think that's really nice transition you can get a very dark um what was it what I'm thinking of application of ink and then you can get a very light and it's pretty seamless I mean it's still some splotching I could go over and try to fix but I'm just kind of do this really quick for you guys so I think that's awesome and then the cleaning aspect of these brushes you can sit them on um, and wash them or you do I do do it on a piece of paper um, this is just a little damp big wipe that I have and then you can just make sure it's clean that's clean nothing I have to do and just make sure it's dry so I think that's pretty awesome the thing I liked about this too so yeah, that was too is that um, the stenciling was my favorite thing so I can get my stencil, make sure I'm on frame, 
before I do this. I'm gonna use a different color. All right, so I'm gonna use pink raspberry. Make sure I'm clean and clear. Just make sure you have like a, a blank piece of paper and you can rub everything on and make sure it's clean. Is I could do like transition colors. So let's say I want to do this color first. I'm just gonna. That is so much color. <laughs> All right, right there. I can pull it over here. Let me go back so I can find my ear because I move. There it is. I like this because I could add more color. So I'm gonna do this real quick. I'm gonna get another one. I'm gonna get a tinier one. Um, I'll use this one here, this tinier one. And let me use, let's see what color I wanna use. I'm trying to use dark colors for you guys to see. But you could. I can move my stencil a little bit. It's hard for you to see what I'm doing. I'll show you when I get close up. I moved my thing over, kind of like Tim Holtz's, uh, what does he call them? Oh, what are they called? Sliders? Shifters. And I can kind of like do certain areas with this color. So I'm going to show you guys what I'm doing. Hold on. So I move my stencil over and I'm just going to do this cool pattern on here, just in certain areas. And I like that about these, you have all these different tool sizes too. So I could, you know, do this one tag. I'm going to transition real quick. This color moves up. So let me transition my colors. Keep the stencil. Oh, I moved it. I should take this thing down. I think I would have. Clean this off real quick. Clean that spot off. And I'm going to use the Lagoon color real quick. And see? Go up here. I'm going to show you. I don't know how this is going to turn out. I've never done something like this. But I like to have this option. And it's going to transition to those colors. So she did something like this in the one of the videos I watched. And she made a pattern. She made a pattern on her paper, and it looks so seamless. Like she actually went to the store and bought that pattern. And it's because she could use different sizes and get different. All right, so I'm gonna show you what I just did, and I think it turned out awesome. All right, let me clean up this. Actually, look at that. So can you see that? I have the camera to take a picture of this, but look at this. It looks so cool in person. So I basically kind of did a shifter, but a different pattern, and it's so cool. So I was able to do yellow at the bottom. Make sure my camera is focusing. Sorry, because this color is weird. And then I can transition to a greenish color and my blue because I was able to use this tiny tool and really work in the colors and do one spot at a time. Make sure I'm getting in there. I like this. You could get bigger stencils and kind of do like a part of the part of the image is one color. Get in there and do another color. I like this. And you didn't have to buy like multiple different tools. So I can go over and quickly clean that off. I'm going to go to this tag and pick this up off my table. I have string everywhere on my table right now. Look at this. Oh, okay. Move over here. Do that real quick. Just picking up this extra color that's on my desk. I like that it's just, I'm going to say it's one tool, but it's like one type of tool, basically. You buy this set of 10, and you're done. You have your detailed blending tools already. Then you have your wide, big ones for wider areas. You don't have to buy, okay, let me get a set of, like, these, and then let me get the mini, the blending, detailed blending ones, too, and then you have two different tools. You just have the same. You pack everything up. You just grab all 10 of these, and you go about your day. 
so I love this I'm trying to see the camera would pick this up perfectly for you guys but just the transition the blue to the greenish color to the yellow just doing detailed blending and I shifted my stencil this is from Aliexpress it's hard for you guys to see that it's just a circle um, and you can see the colors kind of there too the blue yellow and the pink I use to transition which is a little circle that goes from big circles to small ones so, I am I'm really liking this this is I've had these for a while so I'm just you know always on my desk I'm always dropping something um, <laughs> but I I love this I do a little bit of blending on some projects but I don't do too much I mostly use my blending tools to just uh, add ink to the edges and it's easier you know, one time I do blend a lot I mostly do it with the trust oxides because they're easier but I mean let's see that I did the trust oxides I don't want this video to be too long guys for you I'm already like almost at 20 minutes but you can use any color you want to do to use um, Pull some colors out here. Going to my distress. My drawer. I left some stencils. I was cleaning up my room and organizing my rags, cogs. All right, let's see. Clean off these babies. See how they're doing. All right, and then make sure. I'm all good to go. No color transfer. Alright. So with this tool, I can I can just work in the center. So I can do, you know what, let me get this green. I'm using mold lawn and I'm just going to go in the middle. And then kind of just blend out a little bit. stop there clean off my tool make sure I'm good to go all right and I can switch colors now let me just see if I can slowly move this up for you guys cool I can switch colors let me go into this scattered straw color can I put that back on all right and then I can just go over here and do my scattered straw on the edges and blending You know what I'm done with that all right we're done move clean it off make sure it's clean two seconds all right move on I'm going to peacock feathers yeah, I gotta look at these colors okay my thing was a little bit wet make sure it's dry and blend that out All right, just having fun. All right, see my tag, guys. See, I can just with this small little tool, I was able to transition my mold lawn to my scattered straw to peacock feathers. One tool, one color, you know, three different colors, just cleaning it between. You can use this, but I'm trying to keep my ones that have stretch oxide on them separate. I will buy another set of these i just wanted to show you it took 20 minutes but i wanted to show you guys i'm thinking this tool is awesome it is very easy i i like this a lot i can see why some people are ditching the little um blender tools i'm still going to use these for how i use them now which is like inking the edges um and they're really still good with the stress oxide but these are really one look how wide this is compared to that and it's brushes so you're not going to get that circle indentation. And then second thing is these wear out pretty quickly depending on how much you use them. These don't wear out quickly. I doubt they would wear as quickly. I mean the pressure, you might bend some of the brushes out eventually. But still, I think it's going to take some time. Seeing the foam like getting caught on things and ripping pieces of foam off. and um, 
I just think this is awesome. And then, of course, you just look at that, guys. Look at that. Seamless. And it's, you know, even colors. I could have went back with my stencil and did some colors heavier than others, but I just like how this looks. It looks amazing. You just put some happy birthday to and from. You're the best on this tag, and you are good to go. So I'm going to clean off my rest of my stencils real quick. I'm not a big stencil cleaner, but these are uh, water soluble and reactive, so I don't want them to come with my projects when I'm doing other projects. That's it. That's it. Okay, $6.99. You get 10 different tools, do to different projects. So I do recommend that you get a set for your chest oxides and set for your chest inks if you do have those. Don't interchange them too much unless you do a thorough cleaning before you change them. But just seeing this, it, it, this is fun. I could go in with the smaller one, you know, get some detail, do one color at a time. You can do a rainbow um, pattern with this stencil here. Can you see that? Ah, of course. This stencil is just from AliExpress. So really detailed and. It, I think these are awesome so that's my video 20 minutes and some change but I wanted to be as detailed as possible and you can have really good blending too on watercolor paper I cut watercolor paper I didn't even try this out yet so that might be 25 minutes quickly let's see which one's the textured side all right let's do the side all right let's do the distress inks I'm going to use a uh, spice marmalade I think this is like it's so seamless though like really okay and then I'm gonna do it with the tool this tool this has this is the same color you guys can't you see that light color because it's so light let's see one light <laughs> no Oh, what? Come on. This thing's getting iffy again. Now that light went out. That's mostly because of... Yeah, that's why. Okay. But you really can't see the, the difference. But up here, I use the... Uh, blend, the my DIY Tim Holtz blending tool that I made. Link below. And you can see where it, you know, made my edges darker. Which is cool in some senses and, you know, bad in others. And over here, it's just a seamless transition. It's hard for you guys to see. I'm sorry. But watercolor paper, no issues, nothing. Let's do the trust the trust inks on watercolor paper. Um make sure this thing is clean. Alright, I know it's gonna be a good blend. I don't know what colors to use because I need to use colors that are dark and you guys can see them. Let's use this one using wild honey here you get a nice color dab some that off because it's my ink pads are juicy <laughs> but it is seamless blend on watercolor and this light blend and then I could do darker I can scoop some of that off my table see that guys I can't use any light colors why is it so light oh oh it's hard for you to see just a nice blend of the color um i don't want to change color i need to do oh the rest of my colors are not on my desk so i can't use those just like look at that just two seconds have a little damp wipe and then piece of scrap piece of paper all right and you're done you can keep going with your project which I think is nice so I don't have to have like different distress oxide I mean tools for different colors it's just one tool and a damp rag or something like that and you're good to go
It's not showing any of my colors anymore. Darn it. Can you see that? I just think it's awesome. I I'm not going to lie. This tool is life changing. <laughs> Once you try it, I think you're going to love it because I think the ease is just great. You can get, um, so I can get a very dark application of color and a light one at the same time with the stress oxides and stress inks or whatever you have. You can use, um, I have some, da -da -da -da, what's this one? Hero Art ink pads too. You can use those if you choose to. You can do some detail blending here. I can transition from blue to yellow. I can do light blending on here. You just have so much variety on here. It is just insane. I am loving it. You get come on, this this sum is up. Six dollars. Six dollars. So definitely you're gonna see me buy another set of these. Six dollars, two seconds to clean them up between colors this is your tools this is it put this in a bag take it with you in your crops or on the go crafting bam i mean you can get more detailed have really like a just so much fun so i showed you everything i can show you with the distress inks with stress oxides everything i can think of at this moment in time you know you can get have a little paper flower i can go here with some ink and be like do or i can do this one because that's one tired and you know get that ink in there and start blending it so many things but that is the end of my video 30 minutes but I really want to talk about these brushes and just give you some tips and tricks of using makeup brushes to blend out all right that's it my video is done I'm, I'm I'm done I hope this was inspiring I'm gonna leave the two links below in the videos I said I'm gonna link below for you guys if you're interested in watching or seeing how I made some of the tools everything else I'm going to talk about and then I want to make more videos about how I use these and other things because I have more ideas for them so much love I'll talk to you guys later bye get crafty